In this video, we'll learn to represent numbers up to 200. We use numbers in everyday life in many contexts. We use to count many objects, shopping items, if we buy lots of, or most importantly, money. I'll use the context of money to explain and show how to represent numbers up to 200. So I have this amount of money. How much is that? That's 22 pounds. What does that two mean? As I said, 22 pounds. So that is two pounds. And this means 20. So there is 10 and another 10 to make 20. So this is representing the single pound coins or as we call them, the units. And this is representing the tens of pounds. We call that the tens. So what would we do if we had a few more pounds and let's say i've got this many more here we go two three four five six seven so that means that i need to change the two this two to make it a seven do i change this two over here no i don't because i haven't added any 10 pound notes or it hasn't all these coins don't add up to 10 because that's the point when we transfer transfer them over so let's suppose i add another three pound coins so i've got seven there's going to be eight nine ten so i've got ten in total this means now that this is worth a £10 note and that's going to go into the tens. It's not a unit any longer because units go up to nine only. So I will collect these £10 notes and I will transfer them or convert them with this £10 note and do i keep it here no it's got to go to the tens not the units so now the amount of money that i have has changed i have three tens and no units i haven't got any coins in this column so I've got 30 pounds if I added this amount then I would have 50 so again I'll change this in 3 into a 5 if I had This amount right so I'm having the five here although it's a note its value is less than nine so it's got under the units it's not a ten yet I can't make a block of ten to transfer to the tens so it is a unit because I've got five seven eight so this needs to change to eight so all together I've got 58 pounds. I will now use cubes to represent the same amount. So I'll take away the money and I'll represent this amount using cubes and I'll take away the pound sign. 
So this is telling me that I got eight units. So I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single units or single cubes. And I've got five tens of so blocks of ten. By putting all of these ten of these together, I can get the block of ten like this. So there is a ten. And there is another 10 and three more all together. I've got five blocks of 10, which makes 50. So this again represents 58 cubes. If I had a few more of these, that make 60, 70, 80, and another one that makes 90 so nine blocks of 10 we'll change this into a nine so I've got 98 if I add two single cubes what would happen now I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we've said that if we've got 10, we could actually put these together to make a block of 10. So I will add these together. I'll put them together. So now we've got a new block of 10 which can or should join the tens so there are no units no single cubes but do I still have nine tens there are actually ten and again just like with the units if you've got a block of ten of them it's got to move to the next column on the left so this now represents a hundred so it's a hundred block i can't have it here so it's got to go to the hundreds so there is a block of a hundred we'll call that hundreds and are there any tens any longer no they're not so that needs to change now to a zero and that's number 100 so i've got a block of 100 no tens no units whereas now i have a block of 100 a block of 10 and a block of and, and a unit a single unit so one 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 so this one represents the units this one represents the tens and this represents the hundreds. If I had um, 120, so I will change the number to 120. Oh, I want to represent 120. What does this tell me? There are no units, but there are two tens. Why do I keep the zero there? I need to keep it because otherwise the number would read as just 12 and that has a different value from 120. So we've got to have that zero in there. What would I do to represent the number 105? So 105, that suggests that I've got five single cubes, one, two, three, four, five, and I've got no tens. So this is how I represent 105. And finally, how would I represent a, a 200? How could I show 200? So 200. That suggests that there are two blocks of hundreds. So I will bring over another block. There we have one two blocks do i have any tens no i don't need any tens and no units and this is how we represent numbers up to 200